Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to DIY Art Blast. So today I'm here with another painting and this time I'm going to use a different color. So than usually I use. So now if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also if you like this video, don't forget to give a big big thumbs up. So now let me show you the colors I'm going to use today for this painting. So uh, again, I'm going to use different type of uh, different shades of color this time for this painting and uh, these are the color I'm going to be using. So this is, oopsie. Okay, so this is just a mild yellow. This is orange yellow. So basically it's orange. This is rose pink. This is blue, like dark blue. And I also have a light blue too here. So you can see the difference. All right, I'm also going to be using this dark green shade and also brown and just a white paint. All right, so I'm going to be using a lot of color th for this painting and I'm also using 8 by 10 size of canvas. Now, you if you don't want to paint on the canvas, you can also paint on uh, a watercolor paper using a watercolor if you like. Or you know what? You can also use acrylic paint on a watercolor. Why not? All right, so now, Make sure you grab a, uh, grab a paper towel and a cup of water to clean your brushes. And uh, let's start painting. So I'll show you step by step how to paint this. But I like to mention this every time. is uh, If you want to change your painting a little bit or maybe change the color of flowers that I'm going to paint today. Or maybe the background. You can do that. You don't have to paint same as I'm painting here. You can change it up a little bit and make it your own. All right, so are you ready to paint? So for this, I'm going to work on the background first. I always uh, like to work on the background first. And then I'm going to show what I'm going to add. It's a surprise. So I'm going to use my big flat brush. And I'm going to show you what process I use as I go here. So now if you don't have this type of brush, you can also use any type of a brush you like. Uh, I'm just using this for the background so you can use any brush you are comfortable with so um, make sure you just take a little bit of water on your brush and this is what I like to do is just you know apply a little bit now doesn't have to be perfect just maybe a little bit all right now I'm gonna paint my background nice and kind of light blue color here if you want to change the color of the background you can also do that you can check out the image of the painting at the end of this video so you get more idea what i'm talking about and how it's gonna look like with the other colors so you can use any color you like all right so now here's the plan i'm gonna make my background nice and light blue so i'm gonna take a little bit of white actually you know what? i'm gonna separate this white a little bit because i don't want to make my whole white one color so i'm gonna put it on side of my plate here and for the background i'm just gonna be using this white so i don't run out of my paint all right i'm gonna take a little bit of blue and a little bit of white on the other side and now uh you can use any type of a brush strokes here you like i'm just gonna go up and down and if i change my mind i'll decide that later but for now my focus is to co cover all of the white space I have here okay so I'm just gonna go up and down here and I'm not blending this white and blue together I, I really like this type of a streak here so I'm just gonna use my canvas like this it's easier for me okay all right if you run out of your paint just take more blue and more white Working on the background is my favorite part. Um, I don't know. Just like covering the larger space. Because you don't have to think a lot for that part, right? <laughs> now, if you want to uh, paint something else, if you want to try painting something else, but you don't know how to do that, and if you need any help for that, please let me know in a comment. I love to get more ideas what painting I need to show what I can show you next time. So, let me know in a comment. I love to do 
if you have any idea you want me to show you so i'm just gonna keep taking my paint in white and blue i also like to take a little bit of water here you if you are painting on the canvas you can also paint the side of your canvas if you like i'm gonna do that later I'm going to turn my canvas. Now do you see how some area looks darker, some area looks lighter? That is what I'm going for here. I don't want my background to look just like, you know, one color here. So If you are painting on a larger canvas, this might take a little time. And if you feel like I'm going too fast, you can always uh, pause this video. Okay, so yeah, I'm all done covering my whole canvas. Now, I feel like that I want to make some area more lighter. So let me go ahead and add a little bit more white here. So I'm going to take a little white, apply a little bit of white wherever I feel like I want to make it lighter. Okay, and then I'm just going to follow my brush strokes here. Just going up and down like this, very lightly. Okay, I'm almost done with this background. All right, so now again, if you want to add more white, more blue, it's up to you. You can uh, go back and add more color if you like. You can also use a different color here. All right, now I'm just going to turn my canvas this way because uh, I like the top area better than the bottom one because I'm mostly going to hide most of this bottom area here. Okay, so now that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to add more colors later. I'll show you how I do that. But now I'm going to clean my brush. And now I'm going to start adding a bicycle here. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to use my small brush. You can uh, check out the link on the bottom. It's from the Amazon. And now I'm going to show you. I'm going to use this type of a lid if you don't have the lid you can use a big cup like that to add the tire right here now it's up to you big small container you find and i'm gonna place my tire right here okay now you can move around or if you want to let your painting dry a little bit it will be it will be easier for you but now i'm just gonna go for it so uh, i'm gonna add my handle of this cycle maybe right here and i'm gonna add my tire maybe let's see okay i'm just thinking where i want to add mine maybe right here i hope you can see that yep all right so i'm gonna add my tire right here i'm gonna bring it maybe a little bit more down here okay and i'm just gonna use my black paint here so i take a little bit of water a little bit of black paint here and i'm just gonna trace around And I'm using all of my bristles to add the outline. You can also use your big brush if you are painting on a bigger canvas. Now, I'm going to use my big brush because this is still too small for me. I really want to make my tire nice and thick. So I'm going to use this middle brush. This is number... 10 it says it's a round 10 size brush again i'm gonna take a little bit black on tip of my brush and basically i'm just doing the outline you might have to go 
couple times or two to three times to make it nice and thick. Okay. Ooh, that's good. Don't forget to clean your lid. <laughs> All right, so now I think I like this. I'm just going to clean this very quickly. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to go back with some more, uh, smaller brush here and I'm going to smooth out this line a little bit because I feel like it's still a little bit, it's not straight. So I'm just going to make it nice and uh, a little bit better here. So I'm going to just have to turn my canvas because it will be easier again for you if you want to also do that. Now again, to be honest, you don't have to make it, make this too perfect. I think this is still not too bad. All right, now I'm going to add the center of this um, tire. So I'm just going to make a little dot. So let's see, maybe let's see if I can find a perfect center here. Uh, let's see, I think this is the center. You can see, so I'm just going to make a little dot here. Just a little circle, you can see just a tiny little circle there. All right, now I'm just going to add a whole bunch of line. So now I like to make my black paint a little bit thin. It will help me to add a nice sharp line. So I'm just adding a drop of water on my paint here, just a little bit. All right, now I'm just going to add a plus first. So basically, I'm just adding a line, maybe starting from this dot or maybe i like to start from here let's see you don't need any straight line again it's okay if it's a little bit wonky <laughs> all right so that's uh one line one more there as you can see this circle is not looking a perfect circle here i'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger all right now I'm just going to add X. Like that. One more here. Now my painting is almost dry. Okay. And I'm just going to add like one more line between each line here you can add more if you like I'm just gonna keep it very simple here and I'm barely using tip of my brush but again you don't need any thin line here you can also use a marker if you like Okay, I think I like this. I'm not going to go too many times here. And I'm just going to grab my big brush one more time here. And I'm just going to take some more black paint and add, make this circle a little bit more bigger because this is still too small. You can also use a small brush if you like. Thing I like that I'm just gonna clean my brush here again all right now it's a time to think about what color you want to use for your bicycle I am gonna use a dark blue here now again you can use any color you like you can also use a pink color red color orange maybe why not so yeah you can use any color you like for your bicycle now if you want to watch me first to how i add that color to add the shape of my bicycle here you can also watch me first and for that i'm gonna use my small brush i'm gonna actually you know i'm gonna use my middle brush now again you can also use your small brush if you like all right so now 
I'm gonna use my blue here, dark blue than what I have in a background. All right, so I'm just gonna take my blue here. I'm not using any, like I'm not using too much water here, just a plain paint, maybe just a drop of water, just to, you know, make it easy to apply this paint. All right, so now I'm just gonna add that little thing that is, uh, you know, on top of the tire. I don't know what it's called. If I know, I'll put it down here. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna add a line starting from here, coming all the way down here. So let me turn my canvas this way, it's easier. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space between this black line, this tire, and this line that I'm gonna add. So let's say maybe I'm starting from here. Okay, I'm gonna go back, make my line a little bit more thicker because it's... Okay, that's better. Don't worry about the shape, I'm gonna... You don't have to worry about a lot of shape here. As long as it looks like there is another line, you're good. Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to do here is add one more line. Maybe from here. To, 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 let's say maybe from here to coming down to my center of this tire. Alright, so I'm still using my same color here. Just taking a little bit of water, not too much. And uh, let's see, I'm going to start. From here all right then I'm gonna bring my paint down to there do you see it's not a straight line it doesn't doesn't have to be you don't have to make it too straight but I'm gonna go back and make it a little bit more thicker because you know it's not too thin it's not supposed to be too thin okay okay now i'm gonna add one more line here i'm just gonna make this a little bit more bigger all right i'm gonna add one more line here now so starting from here and i'm gonna bring it down and like that all right so again i'm just gonna add a straight line you can see maybe right here and a little curve like that okay I'm gonna go back make it trying to make all of the whole line even size <laughs> if possible okay it's okay if you cannot do that that's why I'm trying to use my big brush okay that's good almost done all right now that's all I'm going to do with my this big brush. Now I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to use my small brush this time to add handles. All right, so I'm all done with this big brush. I'm just going to use my small brush and I'm still using my, let's say, same color. I'm just going to grab a little water here and a little bit of paint here. And to add the handle shape, I'm just going to, you know, uh, let's see, how to even explain you this. You can also, you know, practice on a piece of paper if you like. Now, I'm going to add a little basket and a bunch of flowers here. So I'm almost going to hide almost all of this area here. So again, it's okay if you cannot do it the same like I am doing here. Now, let's say I'm adding a shape that looks something like this. Okay, so that's my first handle. I'm going to add a second one on the other side. So the other one is just right here. OK, 
okay it might look a little smaller because i'm gonna add one more uh, color here to add that little handle thing all right now to add that handle thing i'm gonna use a lighter blue okay now to make that light blue color i'm just gonna use that blue and the white not making it too light like my background just making a slightly darker than the background okay i think i like this now to add the handle i'm just gonna add a just so you can see this type of a shape here just adding a simple square or rectangle shape here maybe a little bit longer okay same thing for the second handle here this is slightly a little bit smaller than the other one because it's on the other side okay this is pretty smaller handle than my cycle but that's okay again don't think too much just just go for it all right i'm gonna clean my brows add adding a little bit of more texture on this bicycle so basically i'm just i clean my brush and just adding a little bit of white everywhere so i'm just gonna add a little touch of white on the top of this handle on this handle here and also adding a little bit of white on this area and also on this area okay and same thing with my all of other lines i have here just adding a little bit of white just to highlight that area a little bit more and i'm also adding white line here now if you feel like it you made it too dark too white you can just add more blue on top to make it lighter okay and then i'm also gonna add this white right here okay don't forget to come all the way down to this area here okay i think i like this um now i'm gonna clean my brush here and i'm also gonna add white on my tire so i'm just gonna take a little white and same thing again i'm just gonna go around this tire just adding a little touch of highlight with this white as you can see it's not a, a perfect white i applied here just a little touch of highlight okay and then also adding a white line on this uh, little line i have here so something like this So you can go over, just add it next to that line. But uh, you can see what I'm doing here. Now, again, if you want to use a Sharpie or maybe a white marker, you can also use a marker here. But I think use a paint because um, it's going to give you a different texture here and different type of a line. Because if you use a marker, you end it. You're gonna end up with just all similar type of a shape and the size of this line so i'm gonna go back on this area to make more white okay now i'm gonna do one more thing here i'm gonna add a black here to add 
the shadows you can say of on this bicycle now before i actually do that let me go ahead and add the shape of a basket first so that way we can start adding some flowers so i'm gonna start adding a basket here first and again if you want to use a pencil to add the outline of your basket you can also do that now what i come what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna also add add a little thing here where my basket is uh, sitting on <laughs> okay so i'm gonna use like a blue color here so i'm just gonna basically use this light blue that i use here or you can use any other color if you like and basically all i'm doing is adding a a straight line you can see so i'm just gonna add my line maybe right here okay now it doesn't have to be too straight because I'm going to hide this anyways by adding a lot of flowers here. So it, it doesn't have to be too perfect again. All right, now I'm going to start adding my basket here. You can add any shape you like. I'm just going to keep it very simple. So I'm going to add, I'm going to use a little bit of brown here and add the shape of my basket like this. So now you can make it bigger, smaller. It's up to you. I'm just going to make mine maybe like this much of size like not too big not too small and let's see i'm just gonna add a little diagonal line on the both side like this okay and then i'm just gonna fill everything inside here now before I fill it inside, I want to make this basket a little bit lighter color. So, um, you know what I like to do is just take a little bit of brown and just tiny little white here. And uh, I'm just going to fill it inside. Now it's going to be slightly a little bit lighter. You can also mix your paint on your paper plate if you like. I just, this is easier for me because... I don't want to make my basket just the one brown color here. I want different shades of brown. So that way the edges of this basket is nice and brown. And the center of this basket is going to be light brown. So that way you get the shadows also of this basket on the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to use a little bit more white here. You can just apply your brush strokes however you are comfortable. I'm just going left and right like this. Now, don't think too much about the texture on this because we're going to add a little bit of design on this basket. So I'm going to have to let this dry maybe a little bit and I'm going to start working on the next stuff. Okay, remember I said I'm going to add a little bit of black here. So... Now I'm going to add a little bit of black to add the shadows. So I'm going to take again, make sure you take a little bit of water for this part because I'm trying not to use, I'm trying not to use too much of black paint here because I don't want to make it too dark. So I'm just taking a whole bunch of water on this tiny little paint. Okay, and all I'm going to do is just add a... A black line just like you did with the white but this time i'm gonna go under all of this uh thing i have here all the lines i have here so i'm just gonna take my paint and uh, just go under like this now this might look darker here but after this dry it will be light black color because i use a lot of water if you use just a paint it will be it's gonna stay like that so if you want to make it more darker, you can just use less water or no water. Okay, I'm just adding a little black line there, maybe a little black line here. Okay, maybe a little black line right here. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I can clearly see the difference on my painting. It makes a huge difference. All right, and also a black line under this area right here.
don't forget don't forget the handles so I'll just add a little oopsie that was too dark Okay, so again, after this black dry, it's going to be slightly lighter black here. All right, I think I like this. Now I'm going to start adding some design on my basket here. All right, so to add a design, I'm going to use, let's see. I'm going to use a brown color because my basket is light brown. I can easily use a dark brown here to add a design and I'm also going to use a little bit of white I'll, and I'll show you how I use all this color again for this design I'm going to use a little bit of water because my paint as you can see it's really thick and it's hard for me to use this paint I always like to use a thin paint all right so I'm just going to add some lines um, something like this now you don't need so thin line here if you want to use a different Maybe a little bit bigger brush than the zero size if you have. You can also use that. And I think it's still hard to see this color. So I'm going to add a little touch of black here. Okay, just maybe a little touch of black on my brown. Okay, let me try again. Okay, I think you can see that color. So I need to make more paint here. Let me go ahead and make more paint. All right. And I'm going to add some uh, lines. Like this. Just keeping it nice and simple here. I'm just adding some lines there, also here. So I'm just adding a shape like this here. I don't know how to explain you this part, but you can see how I'm adding these lines. Okay, now this is a good time if you want to think about because this part is going to take a little time. Like, you know, what color of flower you want to add on your basket, uh, in your basket. So think about what color you want to use. I'm going to use pink, yellow, orange. Those are the three color colors going to pop out a little bit more than any other color here. So try not to use any blue because your bicycle is blue. If your bicycle is a different color, you can also use a blue color. All right, I think I like that. I'm going to clean my brush. Now, do you remember how we highlighted all of this area with the white paint? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take some white. And I'm just going to add a line like this. Now, again, doesn't have to be too perfect as long as you see a little touch of white. You are good to go. Now, if you want to add, make your basket a little bit more darker, you can also use a black color here. I don't want to make my basket too dark, so I'm just adding a line like this. You can go over your brown line, but I'm, I'm not going over my brown line. I'm just adding next to my brown line. So that way you can see both of the color. So I did not study art. So I... I don't know what terms people really use to, you know, um, tell or explain. But I'm trying because I love to share what I paint here. And I love all of your support. So thank you so much, guys. I really um, appreciate. I cannot really thank you enough for all of, all of your um, 
views and all of the likes i am really happy about that so thank you so much all right so i'm all done with this uh, basket now i'm gonna clean my brush here now it's the time to add a bunch of flowers all right so now to add these flowers you can you can use any color you like i'm just gonna add nice and big flowers i don't want to make my flowers too small so it might look a little weird i'm gonna tell you that before even i do that because uh, i'm not going for a realism realistic painting here so it might look a little weird because i'm gonna add a nice big flowers here all right so now to add my flowers i'm gonna start adding flowers uh, using orange color so before i add this flower i'm gonna add a stamp of a flower so i'm gonna take some green okay and again i like to make my paint a little bit thin it's just easier for me and add the flower i'm sorry add the stems starting from here coming down it's nice and flowy um, branch or maybe a stem, I'm sorry. And I'm going to add one more line next to that. Okay, one more maybe right here. All right, now I'm going to add my flower. So clean my brush. And I'm just using my orange color here. Okay, so now to add this flower, all I'm doing is adding just a little dot you can say so um something like this let me show you right here it's just a little dot like this but not like perfect dot okay so something like this some of them are bigger some of them are smaller adding of flowers is my favorite part and i'm really gonna take my time so if you want to fast forward if uh, you want to this painting you can also do that all right so that's my orange flower now i'm gonna add the center of this flower and i'm gonna use a yellow color for that so i clean my brush just gonna take a yellow here and my yellow is also too thick okay now all i'm gonna do is just add a little dot in the center of each flower okay all right, so I'm going to add some more flowers down here, but I'm going to start adding bigger flower here first. So I'm going to use uh, white color first. Now to add other flowers, I'm going to use different color here. Now I'm going to use a light pink color here. Now it's again, it's like a rose pink color. So I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of this pink here. And I'm going to make my pink nice and light pink here. And this is the color I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to make it slightly darker, not too dark. All right. Maybe a little bit more darker. So just play around with the color and uh, see which one you like the... What shade you like the best here. Yeah, I'm going to go with this pink here. And... Uh, to add this pink, all I'm doing is adding a little um, circle or oval type of a shape. I'm just going to make it a little bit more darker because it's still too light for me. Okay, I'm going to add a shape like that. I'm going to add a couple more here. So maybe one right here. Okay, 
Okay, maybe one more right here. Okay, all of your flower doesn't have to be one color. It's okay if it's slightly uh, different shade here. Okay, I think I like that. All right, I'm just gonna clean my brush here because I'm done adding this flower. And I'm gonna use my small brush. And I'm just gonna use white paint here. So I'm just gonna take a little white and add the shape like this. I'm just gonna start from here and add a shape like this. Okay, same thing for this one here. Okay, and I like to add like one more line under this area under the flower okay and now i'm gonna use a dark pink almost the same way but i'm gonna add more pink on the bottom so i'm gonna take just that just that pink color and uh, just add more lines like this now again i like to make my paint a little bit thinner here because this paint are too thick it's great if you are painting a larger painting but since I'm painting a small painting here, it's hard for me to use it sometimes. I love painting larger flower than the small ones, as you can see. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to go back. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm just adding a little dot on the top here. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with my pink flower. I'm going to clean my brush here. And I'm going to start adding some white flowers. Now, to add this type of a white flower, I think you already saw me a lot of time. I add this type of a flower a lot. So, uh, it's uh, super easy. So, all you have to do is... Um, oopsie, see? Don't do this, what I did here. <laughs> Make sure you let your painting dry if you are uh, taking a support of your painting i always do with my pinky finger here but it's okay i can cover that area by adding more flowers there and uh, i'm gonna add a white flower maybe let's say right here so this is the center of my flower and i'm gonna add a whole bunch of petals on this so something like this Really adding nice big flower. Okay, I'm just gonna add a couple more here. I'm just gonna add more petals here. Okay, I'm just going to add one more flower, maybe right here. Okay, I, I'm going to add one more, maybe right here on this side. Right, I'm going to add the center of this flower and I'm going to use a yellow color. Same 
so just adding a little actually a nice big dot there of yellow okay i'm gonna add one more color here but i'm gonna let this yellow dry first all right now i'm gonna add a different type of a flower here and i'm gonna use let's see i'm gonna use a different shade of this to blue okay so i'm not gonna use a blue but i'm gonna use a purple and uh, i already have a purple color here so i'm not gonna make that so okay so again i use my purple here just a little purple i know I, it looks almost like a black here but let me add a little touch of white because i don't want to make it too dark okay all right so i'm gonna add the flowers let's say maybe right here just adding a nice big a glob of paint you can see <laughs> okay oh uh, let's see yep that's good i'm gonna make it a little bit more wider more bigger so i add one there i'm gonna add one more next to that almost the same way it, i'm almost going on my basket as you can see right here because it's it's uh it's a little bit outside too of the basket all right i'm gonna add one more this small one you can see maybe right here well i didn't make it too small but it's okay all right now i'm gonna add some more texture more petals and I'm going to use my that same brush and I'm going to start with the darker purple here first. I'm going to use my purple, just a regular purple and just adding a dot like this. Okay, I'm not hiding my light purple that I have in the background. I'm just adding some dots like this. More dot on the bottom, less on the top. So that way you can see a little bit of shadows too. okay now i'm just gonna clean my brush and i'm gonna do the same thing with the white so i'm gonna take some white and just add a dot like that don't forget to just go on the edges like that and don't ask me what type of flower this is because i don't know <laughs> okay so there is my flower here Now, if you feel like you add too much white, you can go back, add any other color you like. I'm going to go back with some more purple here because I made it too light. Okay, just kind of play around on that area. Just add dots. Okay, I think I like that. I'm just going to go with some more purple down here. Okay. I think I like that. I'm just going to clean my brush here. And uh, I'm going to start adding some more flowers. And uh, I'm going to add some more stamps this time using this green. Okay, I'm just going to add some green coming from here and down. Okay, and maybe a couple of them coming from here. And some also coming from maybe right here. Okay, maybe more there. I think more is better sometimes. <laughs> Alright, All right. now I'm going to add some more white flowers on this 
here but i'm gonna start adding some more leaves here so let me start adding more leaves so let's say i have a nice big stem coming from here and there and i'm just gonna add a bunch of little leaves You can also use a different color here if you like. I'm going to also try using a little bit of light green here. But let me start adding these uh, small little leaves per first. Just basically trying to fill all the space I have here. Okay. All right, I'm going to also use a little lighter green here and for that I'm going to use white and this green. Okay, and then I'm just going to add more leaves right here. I think this is still too light. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Okay, so something like this, I'm just going to add more leaves. So if you're painting on a bigger surface, it would be so much uh, easy to do this. But sometimes it's trickier. It's actually harder. I don't want to say hard, but it's actually trickier to paint something smaller than larger. That's what I think. So if you are painting first time, don't paint anything too small. Start with the big one. Trust me. Okay, so uh, I think I like that. I'm just going to add some more flowers here. So for that, I'm going to use my white paint. So I'm going to take my paint here, just a white paint, and I'm going to add a whole bunch of dots. Okay, so basically, um, again, don't ask me what type of flower this is. I'm just going to add dots like this. Okay, I'm just adding less around the branches area and more on the bottom. Okay, trying to almost hide all of this area. Okay, I think I like that. Alright, now I'm going to also do the same thing on this area here. Actually, I'm also going to do the same thing here. But I'm also going to use a little bit of yellow on this area.
Okay, I'm gonna also add some more dots here. Okay, I'm also gonna add some more flowers. Let's see, maybe right on the top area here. So I'm gonna clean my brush and just add a little bit of uh, green line coming from here and down here. Okay, I'm gonna also add a little touch of green right there. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush, just add again bunch of dots for the white flowers make sure you don't take any water because it would be hard for you to do this Now you can also use a different color here but the white is really gonna pop out a little bit more so that's why i'm adding a lot of white flowers here Okay, now um, I'm going to go back and add some more yellow flowers. So I'm going to take some yellow here. And uh, yeah, basically I'm just adding a little yellow flower here. Just on a random spot. Okay. And I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to add this... Uh, pink or purple I have here for the center of the flower but now I can go ahead and add a little bit of brown on my these white flowers here so I'm gonna take a little brown and just basically just gonna add a little dot like this on the bottom of that yellow area Or just a little touch of you know brown there it doesn't have to be on the top or on the bottom so something like that just gonna go back with some more yellow because i really don't want to cover it with the brown a lot okay All right, now what I like to do is add a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, light green on all of my leaves I have here to highlight them a little bit. So I made my green lighter green here and all I'm going to do is add a little line. So like this. You can also uh, use a white color if you like i'm just gonna make mine my green a little bit more lighter just adding a line on the top of each leaves Okay, remember I had a whole bunch of dots here earlier with the green. I'm just adding some dots now with some light green. Just on some area like that to just add a little texture of a different green color there. Okay, and I'm almost done.
Okay. Okay, I'm gonna also add one more flower here using this yellow. Just like I did here, I'm just gonna, you know, add a, a little circle for the flower part. A touch of this. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use my palette knife here to add more colors in the background. If you want to watch me first here, what I'm doing is adding a taking a little bit of white paint like this. And uh, I'm starting from top. And I'm slowly going to bring my paint down like that. Now, as you can see, I also have a little bit of purple or the pink, which is okay. Same thing I'm going to do one more time, like taking a little bit more paint and adding more paint like that. I'm not really thinking a lot here. I'm just going with the flow. Okay, and I'm just adding more paint here. I'm trying to just use a flat palette, palette, I'm um, sorry, flat knife if possible here. Okay. And I don't really use a lot of palette knife here, but I'm trying to today. As you can see, I grab a little bit of uh... Okay, I'm gonna clean my palette knife here. I'm gonna clean my knife and I'm gonna use let's see, I'm gonna use a little bit of red here because I love this red. Okay, I'm just using this red, pink, and this little orange here. I already have enough yellow there. Oopsie. Okay, for me it's hard to stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over this here. Ooh, you know what? You can also use a gold here. Gold color. I love that. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy because it's hard for me to stop, you know? So I'm going to just maybe stop right here. And I'm going to just grab my this brush, small brush. And I'm going to go over this area one more time because, you know what? I, I want to just see my bicycle here. So I'm just using white. I'm sorry, blue. Just covering the whole area first and some white to highlight on the top and then just a little black to 
to add a little shadow don't forget to take a little water if you are doing this with me and there you go that's all i'm gonna do now one thing i want to also do here is uh, i'm gonna use this light black here with a little bit of water and also just go under this area to make it make some area a little bit more darker okay something like this just adding a little touch of this black here now there are so many other ways to do this but i really want to use a black here okay so do you see how i'm very lightly touching under all of my flowers now i'm not gonna go under this black white flower here i'm just going under this area right here only okay maybe a little bit here okay i'm also gonna go this under this area here under the basket a little bit on the edges So that's why I always say this. It's just, you know, make it your own. You don't have to really uh, follow me. I feel like this area is kind of very empty. So just adding more paint there. And just adding more. To I'm going to add a little purple here. Why not? Let's, let's add more purple. Oh, I like that. A little bit darker, you know. A little bit darker on the edges. Always looks better. Try that too on your painting. If you are painting anything and uh, if it's looking slightly, maybe, um, I don't want to say weird, but if you feel like it's looking kind of a little bit anti here, just add a little touch of black on the edges of your painting. It change your whole painting so i just added more purple on the edges like this kind of more paint you can also use a different color okay that's all i'm gonna do trust me I'm gonna go back and paint the edges and uh, yeah that's all i'm gonna do with this painting i hope you guys all have fun painting this fun colorful painting if you feel like this is too much <laughs> i like too much sometimes you know so uh this is not my typical type of a painting but i hope you guys you enjoy this painting and uh if you have any question please let me know in the comment and i'll get back to you and uh yeah so I'm going to share something very different next time for the next painting. I mean, next uh, video. Uh, it's not going to be my painting video. I'm going to share something uh, different. But I'll share, share it with you when I have that video. But uh, that's all I'm going to do again with this painting. Don't forget to clean your brushes. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.